Tell me about yourself. My name is Julia and I'm 15 years old. I'm Lucas Cole and I'm 11 years old. I'm currently a class monitor of Resource Tika School. I'm Elise Cole and I'm 9 years old this year. I'm currently studying in Resource Tika School. Hello, my name is Marcus. I'm 6 years old. Currently, I'm studying in Writer Mother's Story. I'm Joey, full-time mom, looking after my two kids. My name is Laen. I'm 23 this year. I'm an early childhood educator. I'm Elton, a year four psychology major. Okay, so what was the naughtiest thing you did in preschool? I don't think I did anything naughty that I can remember of. I was more like a teacher's pet. I used to follow Miss Lauren uh, everywhere. She was very caring and positive and very encouraging towards me. I would use the similar traits that imparted in me so I can also like encourage my kids, comfort them when they are sad or like when they are trying out new things. I hated my vegetables when I was in preschool so I remember spitting them out, um, hiding them under spoons, under the bowl just to get away with it. So do you remember any of your preschool teachers? I fondly remember would be my speech and drama teacher, Teacher Pat. First teacher that my cuteness did not affect. Okay, so another teacher that I remember was Miss Elsie. So actually I met her recently also before I put my kids in pet school. We were like looking at each other when I was doing the school tour and hey, she looks familiar and she was like looking at me also and she was like, hey, I know you. I strongly feel that I should put my kids in pet school because I know Miss Elsie and there was a familiar face. One person that came to mind was um, my K2 Chinese teacher, Miss Li Chu. So whenever I see her, I'll be like, oh, Lao Shi, how are you doing? You know, and she always encouraged me to do better. Like, you know, you know what, you can do it. You know, now that I'm a teacher myself. I bring it to the classroom and you know, whenever my children can put on their pants or they can't do a particular task, I'll be like, you know what, you can do it. So I think that's why I remember her so profoundly. As a child, what did you wish to become when you grew up? 90% of five-year-olds would say, I want to be a princess. Princess. A princess. Which girl wouldn't want to be a princess, right? I wish to help my father in his camera retail shop when I grow up, as I want to continue his business. I feel like my path lies more towards uh, something that relates to children. I feel that children have a lot of untapped potential and possibly they are our future as well. So I hope to do something with relation to children in the future. JJ Coco, what is the one thing that you can get out of preschool? I guess it would be my curious nature. I remember during preschool I had a very inquisitive mind, so I tried to question the things around me, and this may have shaped my decision to study psychology today. The friendships made, and even until today we still talk and meet up, and it helped me become a very sociable person. Now that I play water polo, um, the people in my team are much older than me and it helps me make friends easily. The birthday celebrations are usually like my favourite part of pet school because every celebration is like extreme. Now that I'm a mom of two, I want my kids to have the same uh, childhood that I had, have all the big celebrations and keep the positivity, the memories and the bonding with their classmates. What do you say to your five years old self? Have fun, do your best, follow your heart. That's what I've been doing till now and I would never change that. Well, I would say stay curious, always maintain your inquisitive mind, question the things around you and also dare to try new things as it is these new experiences that will shape who we are. I would tell her that whatever you pick up, be it skills or knowledge uh, from preschool, you actually bring, uh, bring it with you to your older. Confidence, creativity, um, you know, selflessness, optimism. something interesting about your former student? <laughs> Lucas um, is somebody who he will let things um, take their own natural course. 
One thing about him is that I like his um, positive personality, very optimistic. Elise, um, she's very vocal. Um, she's also very bubbly. She brightens up the class, no matter how down I am.吃午餐的时候不喜欢吃菜通常你就是年轻炖的大大的看着所以我们都是鼓励孩子多吃菜可是当看到你很为难的时候而且你吃的很慢的时候我们就会帮你想个办法就是把那个菜堆成比较像做